now we come to a very important topic of community medicine and this topic is levels of prevention theek hai the topic is levels of prevention now uh this definitely will come as your uh, in your university exams for a 10 mark question okay and various mcqs are also formed from this topic and of course viva examinations they definitely ask you so this is a very important topic if you if you just get the concept of this level of prevention you will be able to answer most of the mcqs rather all the mcqs that come from level of prevention ठीक है डिजीज कंट्रोलिंग कंट्रोलिंग ऑफ अ डिजीज इज एम्ड एट रिड्यूसिंग द इंसिडेंस प्रेवलेंस एंड मोर्टालिटी ड्यू टू द डिजीज ओके वॉट इज प्रिवेंशन लेवल्स ऑफ प्रिवेंशन आर एफर्ट्स दैट आर एम्ड एट कंट्रोलिंग ऑफ डिजीज ओके सो सिंपल लेवल्स ऑफ प्रिवेंशन आर आर नथिंग बट ओके द लेवल्स ऑफ प्रिवेंशन दैट वी विल स्टडी लेवल्स ऑफ प्रिवेंशन प्रिवेंशन आर एफर्ट्स aimed at controlling or aimed for controlling aimed at or for controlling of a disease theek okay? hai so there are efforts that are aimed at or aim for controlling of a disease theek okay? hai so how many levels of prevention are there there are four levels of prevention okay the first one is primordial prevention what is primordial prevention let it uh, let me put down for you it is prevention of the emergence of risk factories sorry prevention of the emergence of risk factors theek hai in countries और पॉपुलेशन ग्रुप्स ठीक है इन विच दे हैव नॉट येट अपियर्ड अपियर्ड ठीक है सो मैंने क्या लिखा लेट्स रीड इट प्राइमोडियल प्रिवेंशन इज प्रिवेंशन ऑफ इमर्जेंस ऑफ रिस्क फैक्टर्स in countries or population groups in which they have not yet appeared so by primordial prevention we are aiming at preventing the emergence of risk factor risk factor is also not there okay and we do not want those risk factors from occurring okay primordial prevention in the is is you know is one of the um, most important aspects of controlling a disease let me give you some examples of primordial prevention like teaching yoga okay and meditation to young children how is it primordial prevention if we teach yoga and you know uh, meditation to young children it will help them handle various challenges in life it will help them manage stressful conditions of life and we know that stress is a important risk factor for various um, uh, cardiovascular diseases as well okay so teaching yoga and meditation to young children will help them do what will help them to handle theek okay, hai various challenges okay of life easily okay and if they learn to handle challenges of life easily what will happen see how the cycle goes theek okay? hai it will not build up stress among them okay and this stress is what this stress is a potential risk factor for hypertension diabetes cvds cancers anything okay so now do you see primordial prevention is a prevention that aims at 
preventing the emergence of risk factors okay in populations or um, countries in which they have not yet appeared so example of this is if you teach yoga and meditation to young children it will help them manage challenges in life if they are able to manage those challenges in life then they will not be facing the issue of stress or it will uh, stress will not build up among them and stress if doesn't build up automatically one of the important risk factors for hypertension diabetes and cancers is decreased in them okay so this is an example of primordial prevention another example can you think of what can you do as your seniors in a college okay or educating school children okay you can educate school children about what about effects of smoking okay you can educate school children about effects of smoking or alcohol at their early age so okay now we know that smoking and alcohol are what smoking and alcohol if we put here smoking and alcohol what are these two these are risk factors for okay these are risk factors for lifestyle diseases ठीक है दीज आर रिस्क फैक्टर्स फॉर लाइफ स्टाइल डिजीजेज सो वॉट वी आर डूइंग वी आर एजुकेटिंग द यंग स्कूल चिल्ड्रेन अबाउट द इफेक्ट ऑफ स्मोकिंग एंड एल्कोहल एट द अर्ली एज वी आर ट्राइंग अज्यूमिंग दैट दिस डोंट स्मोक और ड्रिंक ठीक है वी आर ट्राइंग टू टीच दैम वॉट विल हैपन इफ दिस स्टार्ट स्मोकिंग और ड्रिंकिंग ठीक है सो दिस इज अनादर एग्जाम्पल ऑफ प्राइमोडियल प्रिवेंशन यू एजुकेट दैम नॉट टू स्टार्ट स्मोकिंग और ड्रिंकिंग और एल्स यू कैन टेल दैम दे कैन सफर फ्रॉम सी वी डीज एट लेटर लाइफ एंड अदर प्रॉब्लम्स एज वेल ठीक है नाउ नेक्स्ट पॉइंट दैट वॉट इज द मोड ऑफ इंटरवेंशन और हाउ डू वी अचीव दिस लेवल ऑफ प्रिवेंशन ठीक है सो मोड ऑफ इंटरवेंशन इज दीज आर एक्चुअली फोकस्ड वी हैव पॉपुलेशन बेस्ड स्ट्रैटेजीज और वी कैन ऑल्सो एजुकेट एन इंडिविजुअल ठीक है इंडिविजुअल सॉरी इंडिविजुअल एजुकेशन ठीक है सो दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नाउ इफ यू रिमेंबर द नेचुरल हिस्ट्री ऑफ डिजीज दैट आई टॉट यू देर ऑल्सो इन द चार्ट इट शोज वेयर प्राइम मॉडल प्रिवेंशन शुड बी डन सो दिस कुड कम एज एन एम सी क्यू दैट वेयर शुड प्राइम मॉडल प्रिवेंशन बी अप्लाइड इन क्वेश्चन इज वेयर शुड प्राइम मॉडल प्रिवेंशन ठीक है बी अप्लाइड in नैचुर uh, natural history of diseases ठीक है where should you apply primordial prevention ठीक है so primordial prevention should be applied in if you remember susceptible stage in natural history of diseases okay so what will happen it will prevent which will prevent people to progress into subclinical stage theek hai so this is about primordial prevention primordial prevention is applied before the emergence of risk factor in a group of people or countries okay and the best example is that you teach young children not to smoke not to drink okay so that smoking and alcohol are risk factors for cardiovascular diseases right so we should educate them we should teach them not to start smoking and not to start drinking okay what are the modes of interventions how we can do this we have either population based strategies or we can go for individual education when it comes to the natural history of disease okay it is applied in which stage it is applied in the uh, susceptible stage in natural history of disease so that the person will not progress from the susceptible stage into the subclinical stage so this is important now okay one question comes that for ncds okay for ncds okay for ncds 
which is the best level of prevention okay which is the best level of prevention so for ncds the best level of prevention is primordial prevention ncds kaise hota hai ncds ke liye bahut sare risk factors are responsible our lifestyle our dietary uh, a lot of things stress a lot of things so we should apply primordial prevention we should prevent the emergence of such risk factors in a person so that ncds do not develop okay okay moving ahead the next level of prevention is primary prevention theek hai it is primary prevention okay so what is primary prevention let me put it down for you it is action taken or interventions given prior to onset of disease prior to onset of disease which removes the possibility that a disease okay that a disease will ever occur okay so it is action taken or interventions that we do prior to the onset of disease the disease has not yet occurred and whatever you do prior to the onset of the disease so that disease does not ever happen is what is primary prevention okay in other words it is applied ठीक है when what is happening when risk factors ठीक है applied when risk factors are present ठीक है risk factors are present but disease has not yet taken place ठीक है disease risk factors are present ठीक है risk factors are present but disease has not yet taking place example of primary prevention is can you give me an example okay example is like vaccination okay how how is vaccination a primary prevention now when are we giving measles vaccine say to a child at 9 completed months does the infant does the child suffer from measles then we are giving measles vaccine no the child does not suffer from measles so the child does not have the disease we are giving measles vaccine to prevent the emergence of measles or to prevent the child from happening from having measles at a later stage okay later in life okay so Uh, how can we say that risk factors of measles are present obviously risk factors are there nutritional deficiency might exist the child might have a low immunity so he or she is susceptible to measles so the risk factors of measles are present but measles has not yet occurred in the child so vaccination is an example of primary prevention theek okay? hai uh, let me put it down for you that giving theek okay, hai giving measles vaccine theek okay, hai to an infant so that why do we may give measles vaccine to an infant so that chances of measles theek okay, hai are minimized okay now again my next question is on which phase of natural history of disease or in which stage of natural history of disease theek okay, hai is primary prevention done so if you remember i have already told you that it is applied in pre pathogenesis before the occurrence of a disease but risk factors are there okay it is done in pre pathogenesis phase of disease or a particular health problem theek okay? hai then next question what are the modes of intervention how do you apply primary prevention theek okay? hai modes of intervention <coughs> for primary prevention kya hai 
ओके तो मोड्स ऑफ इंटरवेंशन फॉर प्राइमरी प्रिवेंशन आर नंबर वन हेल्थ प्रमोशन एंड स्पेसिफिक प्रोटेक्शन ठीक है हेल्थ प्रमोशन क्या होता है हेल्थ प्रमोशन इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ एनेबलिंग पीपल ठीक है द प्रोसेस ऑफ एनेबलिंग पीपल टू लीड अ हेल्दी लाइफ हाउ हाउ डू यू एनेबल पीपल टू लीव अ हेल्दी लाइफ by increasing control okay over their health and determinants theek hai it is the process of enabling people to lead a healthy life by increasing their control over their health and determinant dekho primary prevention mein we are talking about preventing the disease prevention that is done before disease occurs the risk factors are already present so we want the people you know we want that these risk factors should not progress into a disease how do we do that by enabling people to lead a healthy life by increasing control over their health and determinant which is by bringing about or achieving health promotion theek hai health promotion ke tarike kya kya hote hain it is number 1 health education you educate the people theek hai health education what can you do uh, you can educate people about okay you can educating people about what about uh harmful effects of say harmful effects of high salt intake theek hai or you can you have other may ways of enabling people to lead a healthy life that is environmental modifications theek hai so what are environmental modifications what are these environmental modifications that will enable people to lead a healthy and you can healthy and um, uh need a healthy life uh, they can be like providing adequately okay adequately ventilated houses so what will happen if we provide adequately ventilated houses okay it will reduce the chance of respiratory diseases ठीक है सो प्रोवाइडिंग एडिक्वेटली वेंटिलेटेड हाउसेस विल रिड्यूस द चांस ऑफ रेस्पिरेटरी डिजीजेस अनदर एग्जांपल फॉर दिस इज अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ सेफ ठीक है अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ सेफ ड्रिंकिंग अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ सेफ drinking water what will it do it will reduce diarrheal diseases theek hai or also worm infestations theek hai so i'll again repeat prim primary prevention is you are doing it before the emergence of a disease but risk factors are already present how do we achieve primary prevention by means of the first method is or the first intervention is health promotion health promotion is you it is the process of enabling people to lead a healthy life okay how will they lead a healthy life by increasing their control over their health and determinants theek hai so healthy life ek person ek banda kaise lead kar sakta hai you can educate the person okay or you can do certain environmental modifications other than that you can also do certain nutritional interventions theek okay? hai you can do certain nutritional interventions what are these nutritional interventions like you can give vitamin and mineral rich foods theek okay? hai then also the last one in um, this thing in health promotion is lifestyle and behavioral changes l i o r a l theek hai lifestyle and behavioral changes what are lifestyle and behavioral changes you can educate them regarding importance of regular physical activity theek hai healthy diet okay a good sleep 
okay why for preventing ncd so this is the first mode of intervention for achieving primary prevention now there is one more mode of intervention for achieving primary prevention it is specific protection so how is specific protection achieved specific protection is achieved by means of specific interventions okay so can you give some examples of specific interventions we just discussed it is like immunization okay example immunization now what is immunization doing immunization will prevent the disease from occurring okay if we immunize a person against a child against measles we are preventing the measles from occurring although risk factors can be present those risk factors may be nutritional deficiencies decrease in immunity okay the another example of specific protection could be wearing helmets okay wearing helmets on the road now how is wearing helmets on the road a specific protection that to primary prevention now on the road risk factor for accident is always there okay suppose this is a road risk factor is always present okay risk factor is present in the form of what in the form of people rash driving okay in the form of people drinking under influence of uh, sorry in the form of people driving under the influence of alcohol okay driving under the influence of alcohol okay so risk factors are already present what are you doing you are asking the person to wear helmets while driving so this becomes a specific protection so that the person does not meet with an accident you are asking them to wear a helmet and drive okay assuming that the risk factors are already present so this was about primary prevention primary prevention is simply done when disease has not yet occurred but risk factors are present and how do we achieve primary prevention by means of health promotion okay health by means of uh, health promotion and specific protection okay okay next what is it next level of prevention is what is the third level of prevention it is secondary prevention okay what is it it is secondary prevention okay so what is secondary prevention it holds okay it holds the progress of a disease at its incipient stage okay and what it does it prevents complications what do i mean by this it simply means that disease has possibly set in okay disease has possibly set in okay disease has possibly set in we want to halt the progress of a disease at its very early stage and we are aiming at preventing complications from occurring okay so disease has possibly set in so what am i doing i am making an attempt okay i am making an attempt to do what to arrest the disease okay to arrest what to arrest the disease process okay seek unrecognized disease okay and do what you arrest the disease process whatever disease has not yet occurred to you know to to look out for that and treat it okay and treat it before what happens and treat it before irreversibility before irreversibility and reverse communicability of infectious diseases theek hai samajh mein aaya it's very simple secondary prevention halts the progress of a disease at its very early stage 
to prevent complications from happening theek hai disease has possibly set in so what are we what do we want we want to arrest the disease process and treat it before irreversibility before it reaches to an irreversible stage and halt the communicability of the disease theek hai question kya aata hai fir wahi that how do we achieve okay how do we achieve the secondary prevention okay or in other words what are my modes of intervention theek hai what are my modes of intervention in case of secondary prevention it is nothing but number 1 early diagnosis and treatment ठीक है द इंटरवेंशन इज अर्ली डायग्नोसिस एंड ट्रीटमेंट नाउ इफ यू रिमेंबर हाउ डू वी मेक एन अर्ली डायग्नोसिस ऑफ डिजीज इफ यू रिमेंबर वी हैव स्टडीड द आइसबर्ग फिनोमिन ऑफ डिजीज ठीक है आइसबर्ग फिनोमिन में क्या था ओनली द टिप ऑफ द आइसबर्ग रिप्रेजेंट्स द क्लिनिकल केसेस इन द कम्युनिटी ठीक है क्विकली रिविजन क्लिनिकल केसेस इन द कम्युनिटी is represented by the tip of the iceberg this is the hidden portion of the iceberg theek hai this hidden portion of the iceberg is not visible to our eyes okay and this hidden portion of the iceberg forms the major chunk of diseases or this forms the uh, major chunk of say pre symptomatic diseases theek hai so pre symptomatic diseases in this chunk the disease might already have set in okay but this is all healthy people okay all around now disease might already have been set in now what do we want we want to arrest the disease process if it has started happening in any person at the very early stage so how can we do that that can only be done by making an early diagnosis and giving a treatment that method of early diagnosis and giving a treatment is what is known as screening theek hai so to achieve secondary prevention we apply the concept of screening theek hai this is very important jaise let us take an example um pap smear theek hai doing a pap smear in a sexually active lady what have we trying to do we are trying to make an early diagnosis of cervical cancer in the lady now becoming sexually active could be a risk factor for cervical cancer and maybe she has multiple sexual partners she gives a history and maybe she has multiple sexual partners or she has hpv infection so cervical cancer might have started but it is in its very early stage so recommending a pap smear in all sexually active females what are we trying to achieve we are trying to achieve an early diagnosis of cervical cancer we are trying to look or find that hidden portion of the iceberg so that those individuals who are starting with a disease or who are developing a disease can be arrest that disease can be arrested at a very early stage before it goes to a stage of or progresses to a stage of irreversibility theek hai to ye ho gaya another example of screening to make an early diagnosis is uh, we do a rbs theek hai what is rbs random blood sugar we take a group of elderly and we do their random blood sugar why to make an early diagnosis of diabetes theek hai so that if diabetes has started occurring or some pathological changes are occurring we can arrest it at its very early stage preventing it from progressing into say diabetic retinopathy or diabetic ulcers theek hai then this was the example of early diagnosis by screening what could be the examples of treatment treatment is like dots theek hai dots or multi drug therapy for leprosy okay what does this dots treatment for tb does it reduces the occurrence of further cases suppose we have a patient whose afb is putumus positive he is a pulmonary tb case we give him we start him on the treatment of dots okay so by giving him the treatment of dots what are we trying to achieve we are trying to achieve secondary level of prevention how 
if we give him if we start his treatment at the right time we will be able to um, treat the person and prevent the disease from progressing and also uh, into a stage of irreversibility okay so ye ho gaya now there is a question that most of the national health programs of india okay most of national health programs of india ठीक है ऑपरेट एट विच लेवल ठीक है सपोज वी टॉक अबाउट ट्यूबरक्लोसिस लाइक आई डिस्कस लेप्रेसी लाइक आई डिस्कस वेक्ट बॉन्ड डिजीज इफ वी डिस्कस ऑल ऑफ देम मोस्ट ऑफ देम ऑपरेट एट द लेवल ऑफ सेकेंडरी प्रिवेंशन हाउ वी आर ट्राइंग टू मेक एन अर्ली डायग्नोसिस एंड ट्रीट फॉर देम लेट्स टेक एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ टी बी हाउ डू वी मेक एन अर्ली डायग्नोसिस we screen everyone for fb sputum those who have cough for more than 2 weeks okay so those who have cough for more than 2 weeks what do we do we test them for um we we take the sputum and examine for afb bacilli so this is what we are doing screening we are trying to make an early diagnosis okay also those who are positive for tb we put them on the treatment with dots therapy so hum dots ke sath kya kar rahe we are trying to prevent tb from progressing into a stage of irreversibility which could be a stage of multi drug resistant uh, tb or extensive drug resistant tb now what do you think i can ask you a question which is more expensive okay is prime is primary prevention more expensive or secondary prevention of course secondary prevention is secondary level of prevention is more expensive okay than primary level of prevention and also less effective okay so this is about the secondary level of prevention when the disease has already set in all we are trying to do is we are trying to prevent the progression of the disease into a stage of irreversibility okay then we have lastly we have tertiary level of prevention okay tertiary tertiary level of prevention what is this let me put it down for you this is applied this level of prevention is applied when the disease okay has advanced beyond the early stage that means suppose there was a person of diabetes we were not able to detect him at an early stage now the person comes with blurred vision he now suffers from diabetic retinopathy okay this is what happens uh, this is when tertiary level of prevention will be applied when the disease has advanced before the uh, beyond the early disease or beyond the early sorry beyond the early stage it has advanced to a stage of complications okay so what do we do since disease has okay since disease has advanced to a stage of irreversibility or irreversibility or or complications okay hum kya kar rahe hain all we can do now is all we aim now is to we all we aim is to reduce okay or limit theek hai the impairments due to the disease or disabilities now i hope you remember impairment and disability theek hai so what are we doing we are trying to mode of intervention kya hai isme how do we achieve this theek hai question is how do we achieve this or what is the modes of intervention to achieve tertiary level of prevention so mode of intervention is number 
डिसबिलिटी लिमिटेशन ठीक है डिसबिलिटी लिमिटेशन एंड नंबर टू रिहेबिलिटेशन ओके गाइस ठीक है वॉट इज डिसबिलिटी लिमिटेशन इट इज नथिंग बट प्रिवेंट्स ट्रांजिशन ऑफ डिजीज इफ यू रिमेंबर हाउ इज द डिजीज प्रोग्रेसिंग फ्रॉम डिजीज टू इम्पेयरमेंट टू डिसबिलिटी टू हैंडीकैप सो डिसबिलिटी लिमिटेशन मतलब इट प्रिवेंट्स ट्रांजिशन ऑफ डिजीज ठीक है फ्रॉम इम्पेयरमेंट to handicap can you give an example for this yes there is an example like we are providing physiotherapy in a polio patient theek hai a polio patient a person who suffers from polio is impaired okay he has lost the anatomical structure he has lost the function of his foot ठीक है नाउ वी वॉन्ट टू प्रिवेंट दिस पर्सन फ्रॉम प्रोग्रेसिंग फ्रॉम इम्पेयरमेंट टू हैंडीकैप सो वी वॉन्ट टू लिमिट हिस डिसबिलिटी हाउ डू वी डू इट बाई प्रोवाइडिंग फिजियोथेरेपी वॉट विल दिस फिजियोथेरेपी डू इट विल प्रिवेंट द वीकनिंग ऑफ मसल्स फर्दर ठीक है सेकेंड इज रिहेबिलिटेशन वॉट इज रिहेबिलिटेशन रिहेबिलिटेशन इज ट्रेनिंग एंड रीट्रेनिंग ठीक है ट्रेनिंग एंड रीट्रेनिंग ऑफ एन इंडिविजुअल टू वॉट टू द हाइएस्ट पॉसिबल लेवल ऑफ फंक्शनल अबिलिटी ओके यू ट्रेन एंड रीट्रेन द पर्सन टू द हाइएस्ट लेवल ऑफ फंक्शनल अबिलिटी how do you re uh, example of some rehabilitation that you have yes you give crutches you provide crutches in polio patient now what is this crutches doing uh, how does a crutches help in a person of polio so it it helps the person to walk okay so he can carry out his normal activities he can go do his job theek hai so this is the example of rehabilitation okay so you train and retrain an individual to the highest possible level of functional ability now retraining this um, yes in which stage of uh, natural history of disease is this uh, uh, tertiary level of prevention applied okay this is applied in late pathogenesis phase if you remember this level of prevention is applied in late pathogenesis phase ठीक है एंड दिस रिहेबिलिटेशन गाइस दिस कुड बी मेडिकल रिहेबिलिटेशन ठीक है वोकेशनल रिहेबिलिटेशन और इवन सोशल रिहेबिलिटेशन इट कुड बी ऑफ एनी फॉर्म ठीक है सो हो क्या रहे ना कि इन इन टर्शरी लेवल ऑफ प्रिवेंशन द डिजीज हैज ऑलरेडी प्रोग्रेस्ड beyond its early stage it has advanced beyond the early stage it has gone to a stage of um, complications and irreversibility so all we can do now is that we aim to reduce or limit the impairment to disabilities okay so we want to do what how do we achieve it by means of disability limitation and rehabilitation ठीक है सो दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नाउ देर आर सर्टन स्ट्रैटेजीज विच इज कॉमन टू ऑल लेवल्स ऑफ प्रिवेंशन ओके दो स्ट्रैटेजीज आर दैट ओके वॉट आर द स्ट्रैटेजीज सी दीज वर द मोड्स ऑफ इंटरवेंशन वॉट आर द स्ट्रैटेजीज ठीक है ये स्ट्रैटेजीज कुड बी डिरेक्टेड टू द एंटायर पॉपुलेशन विच इज पॉपुलेशन और मास स्ट्रैटेजीज और दे कुड बी डिरेक्टेड टू हाई रिस्क groups theek okay? hai so let me quickly teach you what are population or mass strategies theek okay? hai when we apply okay when we apply certain techniques for whom when we apply certain techniques for all members of a given population all members of a given population theek okay? hai we apply certain techniques for all members of a given population it becomes a population or mass strategy example what we do let me give you an example of this also so that you remember it 
इन अ मेडिकल इंस्टीट्यूट ओके एग्जाम्पल इन अ मेडिकल इंस्टीट्यूट हम क्या करते हैं एजुकेटिंग ऑल फैकल्टी ठीक है ऑल फैकल्टी स्टाफ ठीक है एंड स्टूडेंट्स अबाउट ऑल फैकल्टी स्टाफ स्टूडेंट्स अबाउट हैंड हाइजीन प्रैक्टिस to prevent cross infection ठीक है मतलब हम अपने strategy को direct कर रहे हैं towards the entire population ठीक है this what am I teaching you now right now that my interventions or my strategies ठीक है my strategies or my interventions could be directed either towards the entire population or to certain high risk groups ठीक है population और mass strategies क्या होता है your examiner can ask you give an example of a population strategy when you are applying your techniques to all members of a given population like I just told you in a medical institute you are educating all faculty all staff all students about hand hygiene practices to prevent cross infection ठीक है दूसरा एग्जाम्पल क्या हो सकता है दूसरा एग्जाम्पल इज यू आर प्रोवाइडिंग ठीक है वट आर यू डूइंग यू आर प्रोवाइडिंग आयोडाइज्ड सॉल्ट इन पब्लिक डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सिस्टम फॉर रिड्यूसिंग डायट्री ठीक है For reducing what? For reducing dietary deficiency of iodine. ठीक है आप क्या कर रहे हो आप iodized salt provide कर रहे हो in PDS system for reducing dietary deficiency of iodine. So this this method is obviously uh, directed. This technique is obviously directed towards the entire population. ठीक है second strategy क्या हो सकता है my interventions could be directed towards high risk groups. Okay so that is known as high risk strategy. हाई रिस्क स्ट्रैटेजी में हम क्या करते हैं लाइक पॉपुलेशन बेस्ड स्ट्रैटेजीज में माई टेक्निक्स आर डायरेक्टेड टू एवरीबडी इन द पॉपुलेशन ओके इन हाई रिस्क स्ट्रैटेजी वॉट इज हैपनिंग माई टेक्निक्स आर अप्लाइड टू सर्टन ग्रुप्स ऑफ पॉपुलेशन ठीक है होम वी नो ओके होम वी नो दैट they are at high risk of acquiring diseases ठीक है so my high risk strategy is directed to certain groups of population whom we know that they are at high risk of acquiring the diseases can you think of some example yes as a medical student you get hepatitis b vaccination why Why is hepatitis B vaccination given to medical students? Um, hepatitis B vaccination is given to medical students, okay, to prevent what? To prevent acquiring hepatitis B, okay, acquiring of hepatitis B if they come in contact. contact with any infected person uh, so what is the example of high risk strategy okay we are directing our techniques to certain groups of people whom we know that they are at risk of acquiring the disease like we give hepatitis b vaccination to students ठीक है टू मेडिकल स्टूडेंट्स हम क्यों देते हैं टू प्रिवेंट देम फ्रॉम अक्वायरिंग हेपेटाइटिस बी इफ दे कम इन कॉन्टैक्ट विद एन इन्फेक्टेड पर्सन ओके कैन यू गिव अनादर एग्जांपल यस अनादर एग्जांपल वुड बी व्हाट इट कुड बी प्रोवाइडिंग ओके एंटी रेबीज वैक्सीन ठीक है इट कुड बी एंटी रेबीज वैक्सीन टू वेटरिनरी डॉक्टर्स ओके वेटनरी डॉक्टर्स सो दैट दे डू नॉट अक्वायर इट अक्वायर वॉट इन्फेक्शन वाइल ट्रीटिंग एनी इन्फेक्टेड एनिमल 
ठीक है सो एनी बडी कैन आस्क यू योर एग्जामिनर दैट डू यू होम डू यू डायरेक्ट दीज इंटरवेंशन ठीक है यू कैन डायरेक्ट दैम टू द इंटायर पॉपुलेशन और टू द हाई रिस्क ग्रुप्स ठीक है सो आई गिवन यू एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ बोथ नाउ लेट एस ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस टॉपिक विद द हेल्प ऑफ सर्टन एम सी क्यूज और रादर आई शुड से विद द हेल्प ऑफ सर्टन एग्जाम्पल्स ठीक है सो माई फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन टू यू इज दैट सपोज इफ आई आस्क यू पैश्चराइजेशन ऑफ मिल्क ओके pasteurization of milk this is an example of primary prevention secondary prevention tertiary prevention or primordial prevention of course what is pasteurization of milk it is a means of specific protection right to preserve the quality of milk so what is pasteurization of milk it is a process to destroy micro mic, uh, microorganisms in milk right so it is a method of specific protection and specific protection comes under is a level is a mode of intervention under which level of prevention of course primary prevention theek okay? hai this is how questions are asked to you uh, secondly you might be asked chemo prophylaxis during an epidemic of suppose we give chemo prophylaxis theek okay? hai during an epidemic of meningococcal meningitis so again what is chemo prophylaxis or epidemic of meningococcal meningitis is present theek okay? hai now what happens epidemic of meningococcal meningitis has is uh, epidemic of meningococcal meningitis is present but the disease has not yet occurred it has not yet taken place in adults and what are we doing so let me put it down for you that epidemic of meningococcal meningitis is present theek okay? hai but what is happening but disease has not yet occurred and to prevent the disease from occurring the risk factor is there to prevent the disease from occurring what are we giving we are giving chemo prophylaxis so again this is an example of specific protection theek okay? hai specific protection and specific protection comes under which level this comes under primary level of intervention theek okay? hai Uh, a few more examples suppose a child comes to your immunization clinic theek okay? hai a child coming to immunization clinic theek okay? hai for opv vaccine what is it of course i told you immunization i repeated it quite a number of times in this lecture is a means of specific protection so this is primary prevention all vaccines are example of specific protection theek okay? hai i'm writing a golden point here okay all vaccines are example of specific protection okay except when i write except when i write that bcg is given for treatment of bladder cancer ठीक है वॉट डज दिस बिकम सिंस आई एम गिविंग इट फॉर ट्रीटमेंट इट बिकम्स सेकेंडरी लेवल ऑफ प्रिवेंशन ठीक है अदरवाइज ऑल वैक्सीन आर एग्जाम्पल ऑफ प्राइमरी प्रिवेंशन स्पेसिफिक प्रोटेक्शन ठीक है अ फ्यू मोर एग्जाम्पल्स दैट सपोज ओके अ पेशेंट विथ फीवर ओके अ पेशेंट विथ फीवर कम्स टू malaria clinic theek hai and was given presumptive treatment slash radical treatment ye kya hai patient with fever comes to malaria clinic and is given presumptive treatment theek hai presumptive treatment matlab there is possibility of disease being set in theek hai possibility that disease has set in okay has set in so treatment is given right so this becomes an example of 
uh, what is it become an example of secondary prevention we are giving a treatment okay one i already uh, discussed with you wearing helmets while driving assuming that the risk factor for accidents are already present accident has not yet happened but wearing helmets will become an example of specific protection primary prevention theek hai uske baad ho gaya let's have another quick question performing pap smear on a woman why do we perform pap smear on a woman to make an early diagnosis of cervical cancer so this is again what is it you're making early diagnosis so by early diagnosis comes under what it comes under secondary level of prevention theek hai guys then a few more questions question like school health checkup theek hai school health checkup is an example of why are we doing a school health checkup again to make an early diagnosis if a child what do we do we do uh, eye checkup for a child why are we doing that we are trying to find out whether he or she has a refractory error or not theek okay? hai so we are doing it for making an early diagnosis and providing treatment theek okay? hai and providing treatment theek okay? hai so automatically this becomes which level of prevention secondary prevention theek okay? hai now uh some other example say national iron plus initiative theek okay? hai national iron plus initiative what is happening in national iron plus initiative we are giving um iron tablets prophylactically to prevent anemia in pregnant mothers in children theek okay? hai in adolescent boys and girls so what are we doing here we are trying to give them this is an example of of course specific protection we are not treating anemia we are not diagnosing anemia we are giving prophylactic measures we are taking prophylactic measures to prevent anemia from occurring theek okay? hai so this is specific protection automatically this is primary prevention theek okay? hai so this is very important and um, one thing more uh, suppose we give spectacles in case of refractory error theek okay? hai so what is providing spectacles in terms of refractory error spectacles dekh de ke hum kya achieve karna chahte hain we try to achieve two things number 1 we try to stabilize visual acuity okay and we also provide visual clarity so when we try to stabilize visual acuity in a person what are we trying we are trying to limit the disability disability is inability to perform activities which are normal routine daily life activities so if i give them spectacles and stabilize the vision acuity the person will be able to see so that is disability limitation and you are providing visual clarity so that becomes rehabilitation theek okay? hai then we've already uh, done uh, this thing uh, disease spectacles and refractory error ho gaya so we've discussed this topic with a lot of examples so quickly we will run through the topic okay so there are four levels of prevention theek okay? hai there are four levels of prevention the first one was primordial prevention primordial prevention is done before the emergence of risk factor in a population like uh, teaching yoga to children so that they able to manage stress in uh, challenges in their life which will prevent from the stress from occurring and disease from happening theek okay? hai then you have primary prevention primary prevention occurs when risk factors are present but disease has not yet started iska mode of intervention is health promotion and specific protection theek okay? hai next level of prevention is secondary prevention when the disease has started but it's in its very early stage so you have to uh, stop the progression of disease to a stage of irreversibility इसका दो मोड्स ऑफ इंटरवेंशन है अर्ली डायग्नोसिस एंड ट्रीटमेंट एंड लास्टली वी हैव टर्शरी लेवल ऑफ प्रिवेंशन 
This is when a disease has advanced beyond the early stage to a stage of irreversibility and complications. And what are we trying to do? We are only trying to limit the disability and rehabilitate the person. Strategies are directed either towards the entire population or to high-risk groups. Okay, or to high-risk groups. Then <clears throat> we try to understand uh, this topic with the help of certain examples. And lastly, I would conclude by saying that disease prevention efforts ultimately lead to okay, disease prevention methods okay, ultimately lead to disease control. Okay, to understand the level of prevention and mode of interventions uh, more clearly, to get a clear picture, I have a figure for you. Just pay attention to it. I told you uh, there are stages of, we discuss it within stages of disease. No disease or risk. Uh, so, first levels of prevention may, we have primordial. Okay, we have primary, secondary, tertiary. So, primordial prevention is, when is it applied? when there is no disease or risk factor. Okay? Primary prevention is in the pre-pathogenesis stage when risk factor is there but no disease. Uh, secondary prevention is applied in early stage of the disease and tertiary prevention in late stage of the disease. Okay? Target population for primordial prevention is people who are not yet susceptible to the disease. Okay, for primary prevention, it is those who are susceptible to the disease. Secondary prevention is for those who are asymptomatic. Okay, obviously they are still not showing the signs and symptoms. So, we need to apply screening and make an early diagnosis. Okay, that is why the secondary level of prevention is applied in asymptomatic uh, when the population is asymptomatic. And tertiary, of course, it's applied among symptomatic people. Okay? What is the goal that I am trying to achieve by applying primordial prevention? It is, I am trying to reduce the risk and causative factors. Okay, If I reduce risk and causative factors by primary level of prevention, I will be able to reduce the incidence of a disease. By secondary level of prevention, what are we trying to do? We are trying to make an early diagnosis by finding out uh, the hidden portion of the iceberg okay, or hidden cases of disease in a community which basically denotes the constant presence of disease in a community which is the prevalence. So by secondary level of prevention by doing screening we are trying to reduce the prevalence of a disease and its consequences. And by tertiary level of prevention we are trying to reduce the complications or limit the disability. Okay. Then the mode of intervention in each one is the mode of intervention in a case of primordial prevention is individual. You know, we give individual education deete, usually. In primary prevention, the mode of intervention is health promotion and specific protection. In secondary prevention, it is early diagnosis and treatment. And in tertiary prevention, the mode of intervention is disability limitation and rehabilitation. So now I hope you've got a very clear picture of levels of prevention. I've tried to make you understand them with the help of MCQs also. So just get the concept right and you'll be able to solve all the questions.